Hey, this is YBR back with Infra. That means it's time to take pictures of things that are broken and do absolutely nothing about it. Like right here, I see some rocks that have fallen. Take a picture of that for sure. And that's it. That's all we're going to do. We're going to take a picture. Right here it says, don't flood, open inside, which is a reference to uh, The Walking Dead, if I remember correctly. Seven packs and I was out of battery, so we got to reload that. Take a picture of that. What we got over here? Anything worth taking a picture of? Doesn't seem like it. Can we open this? Nope. So let's just spin around and uh, go the other direction. We can take a quick peek through here. Where's that water going? They're going into there. Interesting. Uh, anyways, how's the piping look? Piping looks solid. How about over here? What's in here? Does this all look good? No problems there. Uh, I see a sign over here that says exit. So let's head to here and figure out how we leave this place. Huge stacking of things with pallets and stuff. All right, how do we exit? Nope, those are fake doors. They light up, but you can't actually open them. Great. Can you climb up here? Kind of looks like you can, but it also kind of looks like you can't. Well, it's working. It's working. Wait, am I stuck? Nope. There's also like crates in the way. Are we just supposed to say, hey, crate, out of the way? Or am I supposed to hold on to that? Hopefully not. Let's see. Oh, look, there is actually like a walkway over here. Awesome. I knew I was making the right plan right here. Ah, beautiful. Hey, what's in here? Is that like an elevator? Oh, and there's like a vent. Oh, a vent is flashing, isn't it? Aha, so we gotta get to there. Just go up. And is this the vent? Yes, that is. Let me in. What's in here? I don't know. What's back here first? Any batteries? I like batteries. Batteries, batteries, batteries. Like, I got so many batteries, but I'm always looking for more. Doesn't seem like there's anything here, but what about this elevator, huh? Just kind of a mysterious elevator. Yeah, let's uh, let's ride. Here we go. Mysterious elevator. Gotta close the door first. Does it work? Oh, it works. Awesome. I have no idea where we're going, though. All right, here we go. Where is this elevator going? Can we tell if we kind of peek our head to the side like this? Uh, no. You can't see nothing if you try to peek your head through. It's too close to the wall, and if you were to try to peek harder, you would just cut your ear off from the friction on the wall, which... Seems to be moving by pretty fast. So we're in this elevator for a while and it's going fast. How many floors up is it taking us? I mean, it just keeps going and going and going. What in the world is this thing? Was it just never stop? Wait, I think it's slowing down. Aha, here we are. That's like a 30 second elevator ride. Was it some sort of secret layer right here or something? Ooh, money. Apparently that's not worth taking a picture of. I don't think it should keep Apparently it is worth taking a picture of. You just have to have the correct angle. Ooh, is that batteries? That makes eight packs of Yeah, I love my camera batteries. What do we got here? Some papers to read? Wow. That's a lot of papers to read. Three different sheets. Okay, I'm gonna just read these and summarize them. The paper on the far left is talking about the acquisition of Hammer Valley Hydro. So Hartman is unstable after his wife died, and they want to acquire Hammer Valley Hydro because it's connected to the Bergman Group and it's a good power source for the bunkers. The paper in the middle is about the acquisition of Stahlberg Steel. So Rosenthal has some connections to criminal organizations apparently. And then it also says they want to make Stahlberg go bankrupt to extend the mandate over civilian legislative bodies. So the whole reason Stahlberg Steel went bankrupt was all for politics it sounds like. And the letter on the far right is talking about the acquisition of the Bergman Group. Now, Kleiman's unstable because Berg disappeared and isn't responding to him. And Berg is actually working at a bunker and he's sending letters to Kleiman, but he's never getting the letters because somebody's intercepting him and destroying them. I wonder who? And uh, Bergman's bank account has been frozen because of some problems with the construction project. And they want to buy Bergman out for access to the Stahlberg tunnels, which would give them a good way to defend the city and provide a way to transport goods in a hidden route. So that's all super sketchy right there definitely want to take a picture of that and uh you know that picture i took of the gold one of those golds isn't actually there. i'm taking this with me although look at all these bugs like i want to be so rich i could just squish cockroaches with gold bars you know actually though who in the world is squishing cockroaches and also has gold bars somebody who made really really poor investments maybe and they just found their last gold bar because that's when they invest all their money in or something i don't know i don't know like it just doesn't seem right squishing cockroaches with a gold bar and I don't think there's really any point in actually taking that with me. So let's uh, go up here and click the button, which has like this 
crazy looking <gasps> bookshelf door. Oh, that's all. Whoa. Okay, not only is that door awesome, this is awesome. We're up above and we can actually see things. We're not down below hiding and Ooh, there's some sort of fire down there. Can I take a picture of that? <laughs> Guess not. I mean, the fire uh, department's there, so they already know something's up. All right, this is cool. Like, where exactly am I, though? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, I think I know who that is. I think I know why. Does that mean I'm gonna just walk around the corner and he's gonna be there? Like, hey, what are you doing in my office, man? All right. That is his office, though. Interesting. Okay, what about here? Fake door here another fake door so can't do anything with those anything in this no doesn't look like it how about this door another fake mostly fakes it is cool being able to see everything from up above what about that note nope but i saw aha you can open this as you stand on it so i just kind of glide away we got a vhs tape right here that's good set that down right there and uh anything in here worth picking up uh it does not look like it. it looks like it's all been emptied out already somebody just rummage through there and i saw a tv back there we're gonna shove this thing into the tv and see what happens i'm gonna try to do this like a professional athlete and just bowling nope <laughs> nope 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 did not work it's worth a shot though all right let's go and actually place the thing in well let's see can we throw it from here nope you just can't throw it in like it's gonna put it in it's like vhs tape broken sorry there we go it is he's talking Can I take a picture of that? Okay then. This game is uh kind of confusing me a bit. I'm not exactly sure whose side I really want to be on anymore. Like before it was kind of cut and dry, but now I kind of see it from both of their views. It's interesting. Nothing else I want to take a picture of really. What about the little hidey hole? No. And anything right here? No. I saw like a little logo. Was that just to uh open and close the hidey hole? Yeah. Close that up since we found everything in there. And that video is actually being recorded right here. Huh. So the military like took him out or something. Why is there debris here? This is interesting. All right. How do we get out of here? Oh, a book. Uh. I have no idea what this book's talking about. I see something underlined though. S5, T3, T6, S8, S10, T7. I have no idea what that means though. No idea at all. And this door is still locked? Yep. Oh! Oh, it's one of those bookshelves with the fake books or something. You gotta know which books to push in. I bet I should read what the books are called and it'll probably figure it out like that. So let's see, what is it? To, what does this one say? Business law. I don't know. We got one over here that says Stahlberg and Steel Transformation of War. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just pushing them in at random and they pop back out. So, okay, I'm doing something wrong, but there's a code over here. We got to decode this thing. Okay, so we got the names of the books on the right column, and then on the left column, we got I'm not exactly sure. Oh, okay, I see. So S5, if you look at the left column, those all start with S. So the fifth one is Stahlberg and Steel. 
And then T3 would be transformation of war, present and future. And then the next one would be business law, then Stahlberg bunkers, Stahlberg in World War II, and then planning, if I'm reading all this correctly. So let's see if we can do it in that order. So first, Stahlberg and Steel. Was that over here somewhere? Yeah, Stahlberg and Steel, then transformation of war, that's this one, and then business law. I think that was this one, right? Yep. And then it was the bunkers one. Was that over here somewhere? Uh... No. Oh, there was one over here too, right? Stahlberg Bunkers? Stahlberg in World War II, and then planning. Aha! We open it back up! Because I don't see any other way out of here, we'll go back down where we came from. I think I took pictures of everything we're taking pictures of. Really, the biggest thing you didn't even take a picture of because it was the video. Ow. So if we're going back down, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna put these gold bars in the uh, elevator because this is where they belong now. You know, my gold bars. Mine, 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 mine. All of them. I don't think anything's gonna actually happen from taking them, but I'm gonna try anyways. That'd be an interesting mechanic if they just said, Oh yeah, by the way, any money you pick up, you get to keep. How much money can you find while you play the game? You know, you're gonna retire from all these monies you pick up. Like these gold bars, yeah, that's worth a lot. Whoop, where'd you go? Uh-uh, you're getting in my elevator. Wait, I gotta open the elevator. All this for a gold bar that's gonna be meaningless in the end. I don't care, we're taking these gold bars with me. So now we gotta deal with another 30 second elevator ride. I mean, this elevator, I get, I finally get why it took so long. We're going from underground to the top of a skyscraper. I mean, it's actually traveling at a pretty good rate of speed, I think, because I've been to uh, elevators in like really high buildings where it's just going from like the bottom to the top, but it does take a while, so it's realistic. I wonder how they did this in a game sense. Like, is it really an elevator going through tons of levels? Or is it just, it's moving slow, but the texture makes it look like it's moving really fast. I don't know, but we are at the destination. And I think the game's gonna have to reload right here, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, let's go. All my gold bars are still here, but I don't think I could actually take them with me. And I can't open that up, so I have to go back through the hole. It kind of sucks going through the hole. I could pop out right here and uh, take a look around here. Can we get up even higher? Maybe? No, not really. Wait, wait. I don't, I can't, no. I don't think you're actually supposed to be up here. I don't see anything interesting anyways, I think. I don't know, is there any way to take a peek up there? Actually, if I go all the way over here, I can get up there. Is there actually anything interesting? No, nope, there's nothing. All right, get out of here. Back down to here and then, uh, what is this? Oh, I can't make that jump. I saw some boxes though. Oh, thank goodness I didn't have to bring the one from down below with me. I would have been so mad. Just shove it in the corner, up onto the box, and up into the room. Ooh, somebody was sleeping in here. All right, anything worth taking a picture of? It does not appear to be. Anything up here like keys? No, those aren't for keys. Uh, bottles. We can uh, bash up some bottles. Here we go. I like bash them up. I love these things already. I don't want the batteries. I want the bottles to blow them up. Haha. <laughs> Cans? Sure, we could throw the cans too. It looks like it's just, uh, junk around here though, basically. Light switch that doesn't work. You can stop corruption, so I don't know exactly who would be staying here. I mean, maybe after the military went after him, he went to hide down here? I don't know. It's possible, I guess. Oh, that's a leak. Definitely need a picture of that. Was this a button? Doesn't seem like it does anything. Any buttons there? No. What's this? Batteries! I don't think I can fit this uh, in my pocket. I got too many batteries. Oh, broken bridge. That's bad. That's not good. Alright, are we supposed to be able to jump across this? No, there's no way. So what we're supposed to do, right? We're supposed to drop the crate and then we land on the stack of crates I make, right? Let's see if this actually works here. We're gonna stack them on top of each other, right? No! We need more crates! Where's the other one? I only think we need it too high. If it's too high, I think it'll be safe. Just de just depends. How many crates do I have to drop to make it too high, actually? Apparently at least three. Yep, that one didn't actually land in a good way. I mean, there are three more crates. You know, we might be able to only get away with just having one and landing on it, but I don't want to take the risk where I die. Uh, you always want to be safe with this game. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Then we just slowly 
Oh, I think it might have killed us, actually. Uh, so what's over here? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just went in a circle. Alright, so I guess we want to go the other direction, then. So, uh, nothing of interest there. Do I want to take a picture of, uh, this boarded up area? This is keep out? No, I don't. For some reason, that's not of interest to me. What we got over here? Locked door. Nothing to do with that. How about this one? Locked? Nope, this one's unlocked. Right, what we got in here? This thing fell over. Now we're taking a picture. Doesn't look like anything here is worth taking a picture. I I can fit this. Wrong type of batteries. Can't pick those up. Another bottle. Who puts all these bottles everywhere? Actually, is there anything, any other batteries hiding in here? No, it doesn't look like, oh, piece of paper. I hid five beer bottles for you. If you find them, drink them. The beer master. Thanks, dude. I really need that. Taking your beer opener, though. Well, I found one of them, but I can't. Oh, God, I actually just drank just it. What I needed. No, beer is tearing this town apart. You don't start drinking beer, man. Stop it. All right, turn the power on. Did that actually do anything? I, I didn't notice any change. I'm gonna get wasted. Don't mind if I did. Oh goodness, things are actually going really bad now. A little refreshment. <laughs> oh, this is dumb. All right, where are the other ones? That's four, right? There's Could one more somewhere. Oh, I can't see anything. I got ah, oh, there it is. Refreshing. I think that was five, right? It was one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. All right, every what kind of beer is this? Everything is red like a spooky, spooky horror game. I can't even see what's going on here. Oh man, what have I done? I should not have drank the beer, dude. No wonder the beer is tearing this town apart. This is some wacky beer. This is creepy. Like, I want this to go away now, please. I regret drinking beer. I'm never gonna drink again. Oh, thank you. I can see. And I can see there's nothing worth taking pictures of. Oh, this is so slow. You know, I love writing these though because they remind me of that elevator platform in Half-Life 1. And it's like, but this is Source Engine. Half-Life runs on Source Engine. Oh, it's so like, it's a throwback, but it's not really intentionally. I think we can make this jump now. Here we go. Whoop! Oh no! I hit my head! Ah, oh, that means I'm gonna have to do that whole walk again. Am I in drunk mode? Oh, yes I am. I am in drunk mode again. Right, let's try this again. This time, we're just gonna wait for it to get to the bottom. I learned my lesson. It may take a while, but it's better than falling in and getting crushed by the platform. You know, actually, it didn't even give me a chance to, like, climb the ladder. It's just up, you fell in the hole, you're dead. Game over. No falling in holes allowed. Oh, but this thing is so painfully slow. Like, I feel like there should be something I can do on this thing, but there isn't. Oh, I can climb on the edge. Yeah, this is safe. I'm just gonna hit my head again if I try to do anything. Nuh uh. Not doing nothing stupid. I'm waiting right here until I know it's safe. Like, I'm not gonna hit my head, and okay, I know it's safe now. Go! It would have been embarrassing if I actually fell in again, wouldn't it? Have? Alright, what do we got over here? We can call down a different one, it looks like. Did it work? No. Can we take a picture of it? Because it's broken? No, it doesn't look like it. Kind of hard to see. Let me go ahead and reload my flashlight. I got so many batteries. Hit the wrong button. Oh, uh, there we go. I can actually see now. <laughs> it looks like it's functional. The button's just not pulling it down for some reason. Alright, what about here? What we got in here? Blast door? Ooh, batteries. Takes ten packs of camera batteries. I guess you need to find a code for the blast door. No keys up there. Actually, I don't know. The numpad doesn't seem to work. Interesting. Somebody, like, blew the door off. Does that count? Yep, we can take a picture of the, uh, little hole in the ground. He thought I was taking a picture of the door, huh? Actually, that's not even worth taking a picture of, apparently. Unless the debris on the ground was actually the door. It was just my aim was off. That could be it. Oh, that opens even though it has a red light. All right, we're making some progress here. What is this, a button? Click it. Her zapping. Ah, let there be light. There's some sort of notebook. Oh, wait. That's not a notebook. I opened the door. 
Don't you hate that you try to read a notebook and you end up opening the door? It's like, how did I manage this? Alright, I don't really see anything in here. Although, that looks to be a leak. Do I need to take a picture of that? There we go. I'm not exactly sure where I took a picture of, but I saw the water on the ground. I knew there might be something to take a picture of. And I think that's all there is in here. Is there anything else in here? Another button? That one doesn't seem to do anything, does it? No. Doesn't look like it. We got some notepad over here. So, uh, something about a breaker being connected to the Hammer Valley Dam. So it's producing power for the bunker. And the main wall of the bunker is now connected to Breaker 2. But there was a blackout because Breaker 2 tripped. So we gotta fix it and I guess we gotta use the code 7923 to fix it. And it's also saying, why is the code changed so much? Because there are a ton of codes all crossed out. Oh, look at that thing. That makes 10 packs it's of like a squeezy person. Out. So let's see, 7923. Can I remember that? Probably. Is there something up here to take a picture of like the leak? Eh, it doesn't seem like it. it. Seems that's just a random puddle of water for no reason. All right, 7923. I can remember this. Seven. Nine. Two. Three. Yeah. Open the doors. Beautiful. Oh wait, does this thing move now? Because I hit the power? Or no? Uh, it does not seem like it, so... Just go to the doors! Close the doors! So I guess we're entering the bunker. Because these are blast doors, and I, you'd only have blast doors on a bunker, right? And that makes sense to me. Anything in here to take a picture of? No. Nah. Doesn't seem like it. You just gotta wait for those blast doors to close. It's also like an airlock. Those ones gotta close before these ones open up. Alright, and we got a loading screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Until next time, this has been YBR. Why did I just die? What? Okay, the game's broken. I think I just keep dying over and over again. Oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> oh. Okay, I lost my train of thought. Can we walk like... What's that? Oh, the door is crashing me. Alright, so as I was saying, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I promise to uh, actually do the rest of these videos for the game in a timely manner. I apologize for the ridiculously long delays between videos. I just haven't been making videos in those time periods. But now I'm back making consistent videos, and this will be part of the consistent videos. So until then, I'll see ya.